Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 7th of 2022. Well, it is titled Meteor Before Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two objects really at vastly different distances. One off in the distance is the Andromeda Galaxy. That is the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own, about two and a half million light years away. And a definition of a light year is the distance that light travels in one year, meaning that it takes the light from Andromeda two and a half million years to reach us. So we cannot see Andromeda as it is today, but only as it was two and a half million years ago. Now the same thing applies to anything in astronomy because they are all at varying distances and everything is at we as we see it at some point in the past. The closer it is, the closer we see it to the present. Now the other thing that we see there is the green streak of a meteor. And this is one of the Perseid meteors from 2016 when this image was taken. Perseid meteor shower is a prominent meteor shower visible about the second week of August. So coming up very soon here. And this is an example of one of those that just happened to streak across this image while the photographer was ta was taking a deep image of the Andromeda galaxy. Now while you can kind of plan for a meteor there's no way to plan for a picture like this. It is simply chance that you happen to be exposing during the time that a meteor happens to go directly in front of the object you are taking. So you can plan it for times when there are going to be more meteors, but you really can't pick and say the meteor is going to be at any given place because a meteor is really simply a grain of sand, very small object burning up in Earth's atmosphere. So it is much closer while the Andromeda galaxy is two and a half million light years away. The meteor is within our atmosphere and only a tiny fraction of a light second away. So we see it very, very close. In fact, as it is essentially instantaneously, because it is so close to us relative to the speed of light. And we can see that it broke apart in a couple different spots. You can see where it had little flares or bursts as this small grain was breaking apart in the intense heat of Earth's atmosphere. Now it's not the heat of the atmosphere so much as the friction caused by the high speed entry of this small object into our atmosphere. And if you've ever watched an object coming back in from the atmosphere, you know that it has a heat shield to keep the heat from vaporizing the capsule. And th this without a heat shield, just a small grain of sand actually heats up and is vaporized and heated to very high temperatures and excites the gases within the atmosphere and gives us this glowing trail that we can see. Now, if you're looking for the Perseid meteors this year, this will not necessarily be one of their best shows. And it depends on, of course, the condition, what part of the meteor shower we happen to be going through. But it also depends on the brightness of our moon. Sometimes the moon is at a new phase not being visible and gives us very dark skies as a chance to really be able to see a lot of meteors. This year we will have a full moon. So having a very close to full moon makes it very difficult to see and you'll only see the brighter of the meteors. The sky will be relatively brightened by that moon and therefore we'll see only the brighter of the meteors and a lot of fainter ones will just be lost within the glow of the sky. But still a chance to see that coming up in about over the next week. So that was our picture of the day for August 7th of 2022. It was titled Meteor Before Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Celestial Lagoon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.